Jared, Lime at the Toy Temple, and today I've got my hands on the brand new Professor X action figure from the Marvel Legends line. And I'm very, very happy to have this because he's, he's essential to my X-Men shelf. He's the leader. He's been there since the beginning, assembling the team of five, putting them together, and we have the X-Men. I can't wait to open this up. The box shows off everything. Big X-Men logo, Marvel 80 years right down there. You've got the hover chair. We'll find out who that is here in a second. The man himself, Charles Xavier. Cerebro helmet with the, uh, I don't know what that stuff is. And on the back, you've got Charles Xavier rocking the Cerebro helmet with his little booster explosion down there. Cause you know, that's how he gets around. Up here it says, Professor Charles Xavier, better known as Professor X, is a highly gifted telepath and scientific genius who develops the Cerebro device to aid in the ability to control and manipulate psionic abilities. And over here you've got a couple shots of him doing the mm, psychic power and a shot of the blanket. And by the way, how great is it that this figure includes blanket accessory? That's awesome. So without further ado, Let's crack it open and get him hovering. And here's Charles Xavier out of the package. And Professor X has never looked better. This chair, this whole ensemble is exactly what I had in mind when I requested this over a year ago. I do have to say they nailed the look of Professor X. The bald head, skin tone on point, the big black eyebrows. Nailed the look exactly. The green suit is a really nice touch. And look at that line work on that tie. Perfect. I can't imagine them doing a better job. The chair fits exactly what I had in mind because it's from the animated series. It's from the original Jim Lee comic books. It's, it's exactly what I think of when I think of Professor Xavier. And he fits right in. His legs, they go all the way down and it gets covered up by the blanket. He truly is super comfortable in this and it doesn't look awkward. The only thing that happens is once you start moving him around he kind of slides up. To save room on box space they just split the chair into two pieces and it looks like it just snaps together. So I thought I'd show you how they fit together. You just slide the two pieces together and that's it. Pretty easy. Nothing Nothing too hard about it. It goes together and separates just as easy. One thing that does happen is on the back, it starts to split because as you know, the chair is two parts assembled together and it just starts to split apart. It holds together pretty well, but maybe, you know, if you're not really planning on it breaking apart, you might want to think about some super glue. So in regards to the chair, about a year ago, I made a top 10 Marvel Legends review and I kind of nailed it. I want the golden hover chair with the big blue cushion to rest your head on and control panel armrests on each side. Luxury with a touch of class. They give me the leader of the X-Men the way I knew him best, hovering. As you can see, it's got these slide out buttons, a seat that hovers. And the detail on this is amazing. It's got a little ventilation down here, little gadgetry right there on the side. It even slopes to fit his legs. He's got the big blue screen, big red panic button, just in case he needs to assemble the X-Men. I thought initially that these would flip open, but no, they actually just slide. And the color on this is a little bit of a gold, sleek metallic. They did a little bit of uh, marbling right there, but otherwise, it's pretty clean. One thing I did want to point out is due to his super long arms, he can't exactly reach his control panel easily. You know, he's kind of got to scoot around to get to him. So it's going to be hard to push that red panic button. I actually like the design on this. It's got kind of a clear translucent explosion right here. And then it comes outwards with more of a white explosion and it's translucent at the bottom. It looks really neat and it fits right at the bottom of this. And the chair with it looks great. I'm really happy they included this because if not, the chair just kind of sits there, just doesn't look as cool. But I really requested hovering and they gave it to me and I'm very happy about that. One thing I wish was different 
is at the bottom here, instead of a peg, like so, I wish it would be a pivot action. You know, a ball and socket rather than just a peg, because I'd like for him to be able to maneuver. And the chair has capabilities, you know, it's got all these buttons and whatnot and gadgets. It can do stuff. Why not show it doing stuff? And the chair just wouldn't be complete without pillows and blankets. So let's, uh, let's put these in. All right, so we got the pillow for his butt. And we've got the back piece. Yes. Now that is comfort in mind. Slide him in. Cover his legs up with a blanket because he's cold. And you have yourself a very relaxed Professor Charles Xavier. One thing I really like is Cerebro. And I'm very happy they included this. And it fits right on. It looks really nice. And it's a really snug fit. It's not going anywhere. Now the thing that makes me just crack up is this. What? I don't know what's going on. What is happening? It just looks kind of gross. And yeah, like, yeah. Now the Shadow King head, it does fit on Charles Xavier, but I'm pretty sure it's meant for the Kingpin build a figure more so. And I don't know, I've seen some people do some pretty nice, you know, head swap action with it, but it just doesn't work on Xavier. And here's your size comparison between Xavier, Everett Ross, and the Marvel 10 Years Tony Stark. And they all use the same suit. You got gray, green, and blue. And this green really stands out. The blue, not so much. The gray is just, ugh, gray. And I really like the design on that tie. It's great. The thing that I wish Xavier had was extra hands. But you can obviously swap in some of these hands just in case you want to, I don't know, not have him do the uh, finger thing all the time. Sir, put the gun down. And here's another size comparison between his original students, Scott, Bobby, and Gene, and the chair itself. Now, the chair obviously is enormous, and I don't really have anything else that compares in size, but you get these characters together, you've got a pretty good idea of how it fits with the six inch scale. And one more size comparison, so that we can show off his uh, off-again, on-again space girlfriend, Lalandra, and the chair. And obviously it looks like she can take a ride anytime. So what do I think about Professor X? I think the chair's amazing. It's got gadgets, it's got slidey things, it's got pillows, blankets, you know, it's exactly what I wanted. The execution is a little weird, especially when the chair keeps wanting to split apart but there was no easier way to put it in the box, and I understand that, so I'm not going to completely discount that. I do wish he had additional hands. You know, I got to nitpick a little bit. That way he's not constantly always trying to read people's minds, but I think I found a nice, easy way to display his hands, and it makes him look a little bit more normal, more relaxed. I do wish the chair was able to pivot. That would have been nice. I can't quite understand what's going on with the... Uh, Cerebro stuff that you got there, but the helmet is pretty nice and it fits right on him. So I like that a lot too. All in all, you get a lot for what you pay for. And it's been popping up on Amazon pretty often, so don't buy it third party. There's gonna be plenty of these to go around, I promise. So with this Professor Xavier, I would say a 4.5 out of five. There's a lot to love about it, but little, little nitpicky things here and there is just holding it back from being a perfect score. But it's going to look fantastic on my X-Men shelf, and I couldn't be happier. And with Beast coming out later this year, I'll have the whole original team. So if you see it in-store or online, I highly suggest you pick it up, because I need it, and you need it, if you love the X-Men. So with that, thank you very much for watching. Hit like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you can read my thoughts right now. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter, both at the Toy Temple. I usually respond pretty quick. I literally have nothing else to do. Please. <laughs>
And remember, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love.